Trade between African countries is marked as a pillar to create sovereignty and partnership within African traders, and the traders show that this should be understood and implemented by every country, with the continent losing billions of dollars every year because countries do not trade enough between each other. Claire Akamanzi, the chief executive officer of Rwanda Development Board, gave Rwanda as the perfect example of how a borderless vision can spur growth on the continent. When it comes to, to visas, our policy initially was just Africa. You know, anyone from Africa could travel to Rwanda and get visa on arrival. About half of the African co countries don't need visas, but those who need get, get them on, on, on arrival. And it, it, it hasn't had any negative impact for us as a country. So there's really no reason to fear, uh, you know, being uh, as open as we've We've, we've, we've tried to be as a country. So I think the fears are not founded, and, and if, if you need evidence that those fears are really not founded, I think Rwanda is a country to look at. Africa has got 1 billion and 200 million residents, but in 2050 they will increase to 2.5 billion. However, thousands die every year trying to reach Europe, and the business community on the continent has been calling for measures to give a reason to the multitudes who risk their lives living to stay instead. We must go to the bottom of why they are migrating. Yeah. People are migrating to look for opportunities. Mm -hmm. and so they are going northwards because of opportunities. Why are they not going southwards? Because they are not seeing the opportunities. I don't think the reason they are not going is the visa. The thing is, bottom line is that Africa must raise productivity. Africa must create employment. Africa must get stuff for the youth to do if we are going to prevent them from, mm -hmm. from, um, uh, from going up north. 95% of the hafes from coffee and tea that the African continent exports go by sea. Yet Africans are not the ones that determine at what price they are bought, which would be solved if they traded among each other. I have been brought up in an area where coffee is uh, the, the major cash crop. A farmer is paid 0.5 USD per kg. This coffee is exported. Then, after a while, I go to the supermarket and I, I buy this coffee, 200 grams, at $3. Does it make sense? Intra-African trade is at 16%, while trade between Africa and Europe is at 65%. Economic experts believe that the enforcement of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement would increase trade on the continent between countries by as much as 60% by 2022.